the height of the pandemic last year, there was an unprecedented explosion of new businesses that began in response to record high unemployment and fears of leaving the house. According to the Census Bureau, more than 4.4 million new businesses were created nationwide in 2020, marking a 51% increase from the 2010 to 2019 average. Sole proprietorship, which is an unincorporated business owned by one individual, is the most common type of business. In this video, we'll discuss the advantages of sole proprietorship, the disadvantages, and when you should file as an LLC instead. Before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos by eForums, the world's largest database of official legal documents. First, let's review the advantages of sole proprietorship. If you're self-employed and work as a contractor, consultant, or freelancer, you are likely operating as a sole proprietor. Without the need for registering the business with your state, there is minimal government regulation and necessary paperwork to get it off the ground. That makes it by far the easiest and most inexpensive way to start a business. Plus, as the sole owner, you maintain full control and ownership of your business and are entitled to all of the profits. Lastly, tax preparation for a sole proprietorship is very simple and easy to handle compared to other business entities like LLCs and corporations. As a sole proprietor, you and your business are seen as one entity. That means that all of the profits and losses incurred by your business are reported on your personal tax return, unlike a corporation, which requires a separate tax filing. For every advantage listed above, there is a flip side that can serve as a disadvantage to you and your business, depending on your situation. Let's get into it. The disadvantages of sole proprietorship. Without a legal separation between you and your business, there is no government protection when it comes to liabilities. This means that debts, lawsuits, bankruptcy, and other obligations would extend from your business to you, the owner. It can also be challenging to get financing on loans as a sole proprietor because banks may be hesitant to lend to an entity without an established business credit. Finally, running your business as a sole proprietor can lack structure. Business types such as LLCs and corporations often use what's known as an operating agreement, which outlines the company's ownership, management, and individual's roles, and is binding unless amended by the board of directors. This ensures that there are established procedures, rules, and standards that have the company's best interests in mind. As a sole proprietor, however, you are alone and you're responsible for all of the successes and failures of your business. So when should you skip the sole proprietorship and file your business as an LLC instead? If your business is low risk and restricted to a small set of clients, a sole proprietorship may be the right choice. However, if you're looking to expand your business and have a higher risk with higher potential profits, you may benefit from the legal protections of an LLC. If you are in need of an operating agreement or any other form, we have thousands of state-specific ready-to-go templates available for you to download. 